if you are not in a position where where you feel like you're able to, con you should conceive a child. If conceiving a child would be disastrous for you, you believe, then do not participate in activities that literally billions of times in the past have resulted in the, the conception of a child. Or counterpoint, you can mind your own fucking business and let people do what they want to do. Mind your own business. Most people, most millennials and Gen Zers in this country are not in a financial situation where having a child is ideal. But he's just saying, well, okay, not my problem. That's your problem. Just stop having sex. What a bizarre anti-human nature take to have. This isn't a solution. This is stupid. And I'm sorry, you don't get to tell women what they should or shouldn't do. And if women want to have sex, that's part of life. Just because you're not having sex doesn't mean that other people don't want to have sex. But this is just, this is absurd. I mean, sex is a part of life. God forbid people give themselves pleasure and find some sort of a joy out of this short existence. But he's telling people, oh, too bad. You know, you don't get to just have an abortion, use that as a form of birth control. And for this individual, somebody who is as extreme as Matt Walsh, he probably wouldn't even support contraception. I haven't heard him speak on this, but if I had to guess, that would be his position. So it's also don't have sex and also no contraception, just nothing. He just wants to control people's bodies. This is extremely creepy, by the way, and perverted. Like, you should not be speaking on what other people do. Again, you can make those decisions. I'm not saying that you, you have to be sexually active it's a decision that i'm leaving up to the individual but he's saying mm, no i think that we should control other people it's extremely fucking creepy if reproduction maybe i'll phrase it this way because i really want to make it very simple for these people uh they, they have a difficulty understanding uh, let me make it simple for you rubes what a fucking smug asshole complex con concepts so we gotta dumb it down as much as possible oh please do that for us if reproduction would be a disaster for you, you believe, then do not participate in the reproductive act. Mind your own That's business. It. If you're able to reproduce, and yet reproduction would be a catastrophe, then do not participate in the reproductive act. Okay, well, people are still going to do that. People are going to have sex. So is this just going to be your answer? Sorry, uh, you're pregnant. No abortion for you. You shouldn't have had sex. Contraception, mm, still, that's the act of reproduction, so you don't get to, you know, do something that God wouldn't approve of, and sex is intended specifically for purposes of reproduction, so if you're not having sex to reproduce, in my theocratic vision for the world, that's immoral, so therefore, um, that's on you, you shouldn't have had sex. What a, what a weird person, what a creep. Um, because if you are able to produce to reproduce, no matter what else you do, you can make it the quote unquote safest kind of sex you want, there's always still gonna be a chance that you reproduce. And if that chance would be like plunging off of a cliff level of catastrophe in your life, then don't participate in it. There's not always a chance you could just have gay sex. Maybe that's the recommendation. Maybe he wants people to be gay. Because that's the only way to be 100% sure that you don't accidentally get pregnant. Same-sex intercourse. I doubt that he would make this argument, though, if I, had to, <laughs> if I had to guess. The act. Control yourself. Right? We're Control yourself? How about you go fuck yourself? He's actually telling people, no, control yourself. I mean, the audacity to tell other people what they can and can't do with their bodies, how they can and can't live their lives. I mean, it's just, it's despicable. Who the fuck do you think you are? Like, are you everyone's dad? We should be able to exercise some self-control, right? We're not, we're, not, uh, we're not beasts in the jungle that are unable to control our, our compulsions. At least we shouldn't be. One of the defining features of human beings, one of the things that's supposed to set us apart from beasts is that we are able to have a compulsion to do something, we want to do something, and yet we choose not to do it. Then don't do it. This is so weird and so fucking creepy.
I mean, Jesus Christ. Who do you think you are controlling other people, telling them, have some self-control? You have some self-control. Like, this is a part of life. This is human nature. People like to do it. You're not going to stop them from doing it. And by trying to, you know, limit the way that they can, like, stop pregnancies, either through abortion or through uh, contraception, you're not going to change behavior. But he wants to. He wants to control people. It's so puritanical. It's just, it, this is really fucking creepy to say this. Who listens to this guy? Who listens to that and thinks, oh, yeah, yeah, this guy makes sense. I mean, the only people who I think can listen to that and think, yeah, that's right, are incels. Because it's like, well, I'm not fucking, so nobody else should be able to fuck too. Yeah, fuck you. Like, it's just got to be spiteful little young virgins. That's the only explanation for it. Because who who actually takes this guy seriously and thinks that this is a serious actor? You're telling adults to have some self-control and not have sex. How about you shut the fuck up and stay out of people's business? Stay out of their bedrooms. But Republicans can't help themselves. They've got to be in the bedrooms. They want to control what you do, how you fuck people. There are Republicans who want to ban sodomy. And this affects uh, straight people as well. So they actually want to tell you when and when to not have sex and how you can have sex. Like, mind your own fucking business. Stay out of the fucking bedrooms of other people. If you don't want to have sex, if you want to do it a certain way, that's on you. But you don't get to control other fucking people. It's just, it, this is insanity. The fact that he would say this with a straight face. And I've got to point out, this is the type of person who J.K. Rowling is aligned with. Does this sound like a feminist? To you, J.K. Rowling uh, tweeted out support for him recently, congratulating him, or not congratulating him, but saying that his documentary did a good job at showing how incoherent gender ideology is. Like, this is who TERFs are aligning with? This is your feminist king? Fucking insane. Wet, 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 ass, ass, pure, pure.